G'day, my name's Aesop and me and me mate Big Book here. We got a few stories to tell you. Ain't that right, Big Book? I've got stories. Ah, lots of stories. Don't know why I should give any of them away though. Well, you give out the stories because you're Big Book and it's Big Book's job to tell the stories. Ah, all right. What story do you want me to tell? I think we could tell a story about the hare and the tortoise. Oh yeah, ah, I know that one. It starts off. Once upon a time, in the great magic forest, there lived a hare who wasn't very nice. <laughs> Give me a sandwich. This is my lunch. Go get your own. Give me a sandwich or I will smack you. Oh, 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 don't hurt me. Here, here, take my sandwich. Ah, beauty. Another day, another lunch. <laughs> Someone should really teach him a lesson. What's wrong, monkey? <laughs> I know. Eep, mud. I like mud, I do. Mud is really good because I like mud. <laughs> Call in a hole. You dig it fast, you big fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> that hare isn't a very nice animal, is he? Well, uh, maybe he's sad because he has problems at home. Maybe he's not very good at school stuff and tries to cover it up by being mean. Well, that's no reason to be nasty to the other animals, is it? Well, uh, no it isn't. Reckon it's a good thing that tortoise is here to help. Don't tell me. How did this? He said I was fat and slow and I don't like him. Somebody's gonna have to do something about him. Someone like me. And it wasn't long before Tortoise got his chance. What are you doing? What's yeah, Flash, you're not in a hurry, are you? Got a date with Kathy Freeman, have you? Gonna race with Michael Schumacher. Ooh, ooh. And another quick response there. Faster than a speeding bullet, that lightning tongue of yours should be registered as a lethal weapon. Back off, you big hairy hair. <laughs> big hairy hair? <laughs> you should watch that potty mouth, Joe Head. Stop it! What are you gonna do about it, Rock Boy? You gonna race me to death or something? Kill me with your mighty speed! I'll race you. I'll beat you. Because you're mean and you should be taught a lesson. And so the race is on! Yes it is, Aesop. And I've got to say that the tortoise may have bitten off more than he can chew. Well, I think the tortoise might have a few surprises up his sleeve. Sleeves? What sleeves? Even if he had sleeves, by the time he got the surprises out, the race would be finished. Well, let's just see about that. Let's cross now to the starting line of the really big race. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, on this field of honour, I am glad to present the race to save face. On my left, weighing in at seven and a half kilos, he's mean, he's lean, and a well-oiled racing machine, he is the hare. <laughs> He's your friend 
in mind whether he wins or he loses, he is the We're not going to keep watching this, are we? Not only is it boring, but it's humiliating for the poor tortoise. Just bear with me. I've got a feeling that the tortoise's fortunes are going to change. Well, I think you're being unrealistic and over-optimistic. And if we look now at the finish line, we should see it's all over by the shouting. Where is he? I don't know, big book. I think we'd better go have a look for him. Screech! What are you doing, man? Oh, I'm enjoying this delicious lettuce and carrot milkshake. What? You're supposed to be winning the race. Ah, book dude, chill out. I'm parking my little cotton tail right here until Rock Boy makes a showing. Then I'm gonna clap and cheer and gently mock him as he crawls past. Then I'll get up and race to the finish line and I'll rub the whole humiliation thing in his face. That is so mean. Haven't you been listening? I'm the hare. Mean is what I do best. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe the sun was a little too hot. Maybe the milkshake just laid a little too heavy on the hare's stomach. Maybe it was just so boring waiting for tortoise. Whatever the reason, the hare fell into a deep, deep, deep sleep. <laughs> Still isn't here. What a joke. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that? Go, tortoise, go! Story of the Hare and the Tortoise. What do you think the story tortoise, big book? Ah, it says here that the moral of the story is slow and steady wins the race. But I'm not sure I agree. I'm pretty sure that fast and steady would beat slow and steady any day of the week. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Perhaps we should ask the children what they learnt from the story. Ah, well, what do you think, boys and girls? Mm -hmm. 